previously on McFly Angler. Oh! Johnny and I went down to the flats area we went to last time where Johnny caught a big redfish. And on that trip, I hooked into one, but my hook bent. However, we had to walk through one of the worst areas I've ever seen for mosquitoes. Gosh, we're getting swarmed by mosquitoes. They are everywhere right now. It is nuts. Both of us got hundreds of bites each, and we did not want to do that again. Oh, yeah. But we hooked into four nice reds that trip, including one that was in the slot size. Granted, I took a spill. But the mosquitoes and getting soaking wet was just a little inconvenience to be able to hook up to a few of these very powerful and beautiful fish. Guys. I don't know how I still have them on there after tripping like that. This is McFly Angler. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! And it starts now. Well, hey, McFly subscribers, good morning. I am pretty excited. I'm actually down at what is called the National Seashore, Padre Island National Seashore. And we're gonna be fishing the beach today. This is the first time I've done this actually in Corpus, but I hear that there's some fun fish to catch out there. Bluefish, and someone was telling me that, uh, what is it, Jack Crevel, right? Mm -hmm. Might be running, so that would be cool. I actually have a new rod as well. You've seen it in the eight weight. This is the 10 weight version, and it's their new color reel, which is sweet looks awesome compared to you know it just matches the rod perfectly it looks cool but knowing risen's quality uh, i'm sure it's going to fish great as well but this is a 10 weight so big uh because there are some big fish i've got a big streamer on i don't know it's just the biggest streamer i had i want to test out how this thing's going to cast with the big streamer but i might switch it to something a little smaller we'll see we've got waders on even though probably shouldn't have to um but there is still you know flesh eating bacteria in the water and stuff and we just we got bit by mosquitoes like crazy yesterday we've got you know wounds all over our legs from that we just don't want to chance it so we're being careful we're gonna have to go that way and then cast that i can cast in the wind i think hopefully it is windy so guys the wind is right at our face but oh well how many stingrays are down here do you think yeah. Yeah, real clear. So we already saw a stingray. All right, so this is what, the second sandbar you think? Even though we just got in, just cause it's low tide, right? Yeah. A lot of bait right there. Something right there following it. Not that big. Boy. The waves were larger than what they looked like from the shore. Now I'm gonna scoot over a little. Needlefish. And the waves kept pushing me around, messing up the timing of my cast. So I decided to do the laydown type casts where I don't have to keep the line in the air through each cast. All right. Honestly, I'm not sure what you call this type of cast, but it was about all I could do in this situation. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. The waves kept nodding up my line and soaking my camera. Occasionally, they would knock me backwards in the middle of a cast. All right, time to change flies. All right, guys, so a bunch of needlefish here. Oh, I'm never gonna be able to keep the camera spotless here. I keep getting picked up though by needlefish. I can see them biting it in the water right there, just Nice, what is it? Oh, needlefish. Right when Johnny hooked into a fish, I did also. Pretty big needlefish. <laughs> I mean, they get bigger. Boy, these things, they're like mini barracuda. Got gnarly teeth. Uh, like I said, they destroy flies too. Oh. Boy, I need a stripping basket, I'll tell you. Oh. Now most of the time was spent on knotting the line and removing the line wrapped around my legs. This just sucks. I'm gonna get knocked over by the waves trying to get this uh, line off my leg. I don't even know how this kind of thing happens, honestly. Oh. All right. Oh. Guys, it's tough casting at the beach, I'll be honest. Ugh, I'm already worn out. I caught a uh, needlefish. A skipjack? Yeah, it's too much. The tide's coming in, that's why the waves went up. Yeah. You gotta wait for it to stay out. You gotta take a break. 
Well, if we find a spot, like we're over here, sometimes there's spots where the wind, uh, the waves aren't as big. They're not, but where the gaps are at. Yeah. People are at. See, like right there where that guy's at, it's perfect. But we're not good on that. Oh, I'm soaked, man. Let's go back for a minute. Maybe we drive a little bit and find a break in the waves. It was kind of hard and, you know, very difficult to cast and everything. We've got the wind at our face. We couldn't get out super deep. Um, so we're going to keep driving and see. There's places that have, like, breaks and waves. Seems like on either side of us, all the breaks and waves are where fishermen are, obviously, because they're going to that our first time at the beach fishing, so, but now that's what we've realized. So hopefully we find a spot. It is very busy today. Um, it's called Shark? Sharkathon. Sharkathon. So there's a lot of people here shark fishing that time of year for sharks. So hopefully we're all right. So we're gonna keep driving, see if we can't find a spot that is open that has a break in the waves where there's no fishermen. All right, I think this spot seems a little more shallow. But we also were watching, we saw something big jumping a bunch out there. We, Johnny thinks it's a spinner shark. There's a lot of bait. There was some seagulls hitting the water here. So we'll see. All right, so Johnny spotted like a big shadow here. We're not sure what it is. And there is a bunch of bait being chased. I have one on. Those game changers. Hit me hard. God, I cannot cast today. Oh no, right in the bag. So the wave went high enough to completely soak my open fly bag. There was a puddle of water in it, soaking all of my batteries with very salty gulf water. Uh-oh. Well, guys, I'm getting destroyed by these waves. Ah. Let's go to that spot you were talking about. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Well, we got a few bites there but not enough to keep fishing. So we made another move. It's crazy guys. It's a dead shark on the beach. And it's a good size one too. Is that flounder? This one am right here. Yeah, it's just filleted fish. We w left the beach because it just was tough. And um, clean off my lens here. We came down to this spot, it's on the back end of the beach here. Looks pretty good. A lot of bait. Something right, is that a fish? No. You'll see them, they'll wake. Yeah. Yeah, in the, in the, so look for potholes and you pass in the grass and you go to the pothole, that's the bait here. So be careful with stingrays. Yeah. Unless you're on the grass, you will be careful, but it's not. Well, I feel like I can see them. Uh, they, they, they go under the, under the dirt, under the, the sand here. Well, I'm, I'm kicking around, so. Yeah, do that. Look at all these crabs, guys. Tons. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's a fish. Big right here. Yeah. I saw one fish. I couldn't tell if it was a red or not, but I just realized I I've got my ten weight, not eight weight. Oh, come on. Again. No, but I got picked up again. All right, so I casted way over here and yank. I got a really hard pull, but somehow missed it. Oh, I got a hit too. Here, tw twice. Water's super warm. We are back at one of the spots we come to a lot. It's quite shallow, actually, more so than we've ever seen out here. I mean, not ever, but in a long time. Beach was a bust. Everything we tried was a bust, so we just figured come out here. We didn't want to make the long walk to that cut and the flats. The mosquitoes were horrible yesterday. Ow. You should make light flies with like a, a reservoir. Then you can put that in. It comes out like, like a tube. Mm -hmm. And that's how you also weigh it down. So Johnny has a pretty good idea there for some redfish flies. Maybe I'll work on something like that in the near future. As we were casting towards the drop off, behind us we saw some reds tailing. So we made some casts towards them. Ah, oh, ha, ha. Red. Just pick me up. Yeah, they're tailing right here, man. Here you go. All right, guys. So hooked into a little tiny rat red. Still fun. Yeah, nothing big, man. Johnny just had a bite. All right, I just got picked up. Nice pull. And the thing hit, let go. Hit again, let go. Did that four times. Ah. Uh, Oh, that was a good tug. Yeah. Now we fished here almost until sundown, but all we ever got was that little rat red and a few bites. It's amazing how one day you can go out and catch four nice sized reds. Oh! And the next day, almost nothing. And that's how fishing can be in the salt water. Feast or famine. Well guys, we're heading in. It is so windy right now. There is no way we're gonna be able to cast, really. Keep hitting myself in the head, a whole bunch of fun stuff. But I had a great time this trip. Caught, actually brought in four redfish. One of them was a rat red, so it almost doesn't count. It was so tiny, but at least it was fun. As you all know, I am sponsored by Risen Fly. They made the rods and reels I fished with in this video. Everything they sell is super high quality, but priced better than anywhere for the same quality. Best of all, they are offering all of you a discount on top of their already great prices. So go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout for 15% off of anything you buy on your first order. I want you all to know I have also started a Patreon page. Thank you to Brian O'Hassler for your support. If any of you also want to support me and get some great perks like early access to my videos, shout outs on my channel, discounts on flies hand tied by me, and even one-on-one -on -one support and help with fly tying and fishing questions. 
Go to www.patreon.com forward slash mcflyangler to sign up today. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and also subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. Still fun.